Captains and pilots from the U.S. are trained right here at the Mass Maritime Academy in Buzzards Bay. This is what it looks like inside the simulator that can recreate any port in the world. Today, the lead trainer explained conditions inside the port in Baltimore. Washington 25 News reporter Katie Brace is live on the campus of Mass Maritime right now. And Katie, you're going to show us what it looks like from the bridge of one of those huge cargo ships. Well, we were given the rare opportunity to see what the cadets are given here at Massachusetts Maritime Academy, a hands-on experience about the ports throughout the world. Your exercise has been started. And so now the ship is moving. We are cruising out of port with a view from the ship's bridge on a container ship. We are in the Massachusetts Maritime Academy bridge simulator. The layout that you see here is pretty typical of, of what you would find on a large ocean going vessel. This is how future mariners are trained before taking their skills to the water. The instructor can determine the type of vessel, time of day, obstacles and weather. They can also simulate ports throughout the world. Baltimore and Boston are very different harbors. Both do handle a wide variety of ships. Narrow channels when uh, when you're approaching both cities, uh, meaning that there is not necessarily a whole lot of water on either side of the ship or beneath its keel. Some of those trained on the simulator could eventually become a harbor pilot. They board the incoming vessels to help the crew bring in the ship. Those harbor pilots are extremely experienced mariners with uh, years or even decades of experience, not only operating ships, but uh, having expert local knowledge of that port. Captain Mike Burns won't speculate on what may have happened in Baltimore, but his students can expect even more safety lessons. There will most certainly be some lessons learned that come out of the uh, investigation. And coming up at 6 o'clock, what captains are up against when a vessel loses electricity. Reporting live in Buzzards Bay, Katie Brace for your local station in Boston 25 News.